Wow, one people, welcome and welcome back to our near turning viewers. And a big up, big up, big up on herself. So, people, yesterday, this lady for the member of parliament for Southeast Portland, Anne Marie Vaz, posted a picture wishing her son happy birthday. But I know they saw it done. Bam, no. So, you know, so we know the era where everybody, everybody and their mother. Once they're not happy with themselves and them have the money for it, they might get a little transformation. But Dr. Miami, I am calling you out today because you're wrong for this. Why is it upward sloping? Why you never tell her not to sit down when it's just done? Oh my god, you are so wrong for this. I said, I oh, jump scare. Well, 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 people, it's not cartel had the opportunity to speak out to the media this month because Ninja Man, he formulated a letter so articulate responding to a blogger, quote-unquote, pretty Dan, for dissing him. But people now wonder, and probably I wonder, uh, how him do this? Uh, how him do this? People may tell us, say, this letter was so eloquent. A lot of people are saying, yo, want a ninja man write this. So apparently he was, you know, on his cell block or whatever. And a police officer informed him of the disrespect that was coming to him from this specific blogger. And the man decides, say, yo, me have to respond to this because me not take disrespect so easily. People... So all of this seems like it encompasses spice, right? Because you know, I said this specific specific blogger, this blogger loves spice. So apparently Ninja Man is saying that Spice should should um get some more wiser persons on her team and this person has no class no boundaries one bag of something people stay tuned and I feel listen to this and tell me what you think in the comment section. This piece is based on a letter from Ninja Man to Empress Misha, a direct response to a so-called blogger written and reported by Jojo Mac. Ninja Man started out by saying the following, let it be known that this is not necessarily part of a series of letters that is intended to inspire, but a one-off, as I have been taken off course to address a particular situation. Sometimes the devil inserts itself into things to divert you from the work assigned to you by a greater force, trying to put obstacles in your way because, as we all know, even he, the devil, has his army at work and therefore we have to confront them head on. Yes, it's no secret that I'm locked up. I was on the cell block when an officer informed me of the disrespect that was directed toward me from this so-called blogger. And though I am trying incessantly to stay in a positive state of mind, had no intention of putting myself in a position to have a confrontation of any kind, I must address this issue. I will not give this person the pleasure of a mention by name, but I'm sure everyone who saw this disrespect will know to whom it's directed. First, I would like to address the tall-up situation as it relates to dancehall Queen Spice. Spice has always been my artist from the onset of her career, and I'm extremely proud that she's in the space that she's in. When she came into the business, I took her under my wings because I saw that she had something special that needed nurturing. I have played the part of protector on occasions and pitted her against seasoned superstars in order to bring her relevance and to get her into the running. It's a dancehall thing that people like this so-called blogger would not understand. However, I think Spice should have a clear understanding of that. I do not know whether or not this person is a representative of her brand, but if she is, my advice to Spice would be to alter that situation immediately because it is not a good look for her. People like those are weak links that do not enhance but diminish. It's like plastering mud on a pure white suit. Spice, you are better than that. If you need a representative, and she's indeed one, please find someone with class and a healthy state of mind to represent you. Well, people, so I saw Africa saying the same thing. Africa came out and she, she spoke of her love for Spice. However, they all said the same thing and they all disagreed on the same thing or the same person who is pretty than because... Pretty Dan apparently this up tall up and I call the man say son gay and all these things and the man come like him to have to respond as him say a police, a police tell him what go on and him come out and respond. But people in a stay tuned. This person described tall up in the worst way. 
She's no different than when Spice was coming after Cecile and the other dancehall artists that we pushed her up against. She has evolved and become more attractive with money as she grew in her career. The same for all other artists out there because none of them came into the game rich. But what I do not understand is why this person feel the need to come at tall up because even at tall up's worst, your best cannot compete. Now, as it relates to this person and by saying person, I am being very generous. As it relates to this person calling me all manner of names and speaking of me in such derogatory terms, this is what I have to say. You speak of my son being gay in the worst way, but you are in the same lane that he's moving in. You are one and the same. So when you speak of him, you speak of yourself. Your disrespect of me, which was very much unwarranted, tells me that not only do you not have a good grasp of the English language, but also that you are a product of your environment. I see you are banished to your backyard, a very sparse and dried up one at that. But it also proves that you are not living better than I am living in a prison cell. Growing up, the only being that was banished to the backyard is the dog. I feel sorry for your neighbors having to hear you consistently barking. I know they pity you. I had it in mind to tell you to act like a lady, but that would be disrespecting other ladies. You yourself cannot decide what you are. You were born confused. I can't say that God made you confused because it's obvious you are not a product of God. You are a product of the devil. But as bad as the devil is, he was smart enough to make you in such a way that you could not reproduce because the world do not need a second you. I understand you are angry at the world because you can't claim a specific identity and it must be disconcerting having to live in a body that does not function as normal human beings do. But the devil was very perceptive as well. So even then, he knew that you were not going to have much purpose. So he made you into a freak of nature. Curse all you like. Tell me about what I should do to my mother all you like. Call me ugly all you like. But one thing you cannot say is that you are a better man than I am. I may be in prison physically, but my mind is free. You, my dear, is in a mental prison fighting demons at every turn. It's those demons that cause you to lash out at everyone the way you do. You are the only blogger. Sorry, I can't call you a blogger because that's not what bloggers do. And that would be a disrespect to real bloggers. You are a degenerate who cannot control your emotions. One that wakes up every day wishing you were someone else. Unfortunately for you, you are already made, however, unfinished. I would be mad too if I were you. I would not disrespect your followers because everyone is curious about someone like you, a freak of nature. You are a joke that keeps on giving and everyone likes a good laugh. You can respond all you like, but I will not give you the pleasure of another response because you're not worth it. It will be time wasted. And finally, just remember one thing as you go through your miserable life. You are dormant, you are stagnant. You, my dear, will always be inconsequential. Just another blob taking up space in society. That must be daunting. So people, that is it for this segment or that se those segments of today's video. Make sure to comment and tell me what you think in the comment section. Now we are going to move on to the other things. And this, this just sure we say, yo. You can't, you can't, you, nothing where you do in this country, in this world, you still can't trust it. You see your picnic go to school, a problem. Yes, make your picnic stay in the yard, a problem. No way you can't turn. You have to just look to God and trust God and hope that God guide you and your family in the right path because, boy, I'm here telling you, say. So, so the cops pro possible link to 13. You hear that? 13 year old student's disappearance and the teen was found a day later so a male teacher employed at the saint andrew based high school in the is in police custody in connection with two investigations one of which involves a 13 year old female student who was reported missing for several hours last week before she was found following the arrest senior superintendent Kirk Ricketts, commanding officer for the St. Andrew South Police, said that this is discovered that the educator was the subject of a separate of a separate being led by the Center 
for the investigation of sexual offenses and child abuse. People don't hear that. I don't hear the last part of that. No. How are these persons being employed in schools? Aren't they supposed to do like? So you're telling me that these these employers are employing persons who they are not doing any background checks for them just to employ them like that? Because there is no way that this sex offender, this sex offense, offense, offender is teaching thousands, hundreds of students. Imagine you send your child. Well, people will tell me what I think in the comment section, yeah?